Well, it's been a, a little while since I've done an update and things have been moving along. So if I just pan round and look onto the, the chassis and try and get some focus there. You can see that the, the motor is mounted now. It's set for the right distance for the chain and general alignment. I've taken the chain off because the motor has a gearbox in and it just makes it easier to move around without stressing the, the gearbox and the motor by ha having the chain on. The chain's really easy to put on so it's got split length so no problem there. If I just come around to the, the front at the moment, um, if I just zoom in a bit more and focus there we go um, you can see what I'm doing at the moment is just working on the, the steering column so it's got a small steering rack just to make it easier to steer around and with that in place uh, I'll be able to cut the steering column to length and once the steering column is cut to length um, then obviously you can test the other bits out I'm still waiting for some tie rods to come um, I had tie rods sort of previously uh, that I'd made but I've run out of the nuts and of course because it's tie rods it's both left hand and right hand threads so I've got lots of one but not the other so I bit the bullet I've ordered some more and hopefully they'll arrive soonish so I can get that end buttoned up and if I just come round you see the body has now come on a bit more and the body's sitting on its side at the moment. The underside is painted and the idea is that with the underside painted I'll be able to then put the body onto the chassis and then lots of the little holes that I've had to, to drill because that's where screws have gone. Um, I'll be able to fill, sand, smooth it all with it being a rolling chassis. Um, I'm running out of space in the garage at the moment so that's just going to help um, me move things around as I'm working on it. So yeah the next step is today I'm hoping to both get the, the steering column cut to length and also figure out which um, brake master cylinder I'm going to use. And I'll show you the two I've got and just explain the choice. So here's my two brake master cylinders for both AliExpress uh, specials. The one on the left is the one I've used on two previous hackers. The one on the right is a new one. I haven't tried that one before. Um, but they actuate in two different ways. So the one on the left, um, the pivot point is, is here. So you can see there's a pivot point there which means that you have to move this that way whereas this the pivot point isn't really it's a plunger more than anything so it pushes in that direction and in both cases the brake master cylinder is going to sit in front of the pedal so having a plunger go that way so when you push the pedal the pedal actuates on there through a, a clevis pin pushing that way works quite well for this it's a bit more awkward in that if you want the brake pedal to move this that way then of course that's got to sit in front of a brake union so it's got to be the front that's got to be the back as you look at the the kitty car um, not impossible uh, it does make the linkage a bit more um, difficult also means you've probably got an offset with the linkage so that's why I've ordered this. I want to see how that, that looks. But before I try either one of those, I need to get the steering column in place because the steering column is going to dictate how much space I've got to play with um, for mounting the, the brake cylinder um, in the, the, the pedal area.